But we often hear how actions speak louder than words. Now a Clackamas County man who was pulled over for flipping his middle finger at sheriff's deputies will receive $4,000. K2's Melanie Wingo joins us from the Clackamas County Sheriff's Department. And Mel, his actions certainly going to be offensive to many, including officers, but apparently not illegal. Not illegal, and his actions are pretty unforgettable. So you probably remember when we introduced you to Robert Ekes a couple of months ago. He's the Clackamas County man who sued the county because he says sheriff's deputies violated his rights to free speech. He was pulled over twice, he says, because he flipped the middle finger to a couple of sheriff's deputies. It even got him some airtime on that hit Comedy Central show, The Colbert Report. Well, this week, the county agreed to settle his lawsuit for $4,000, saying it simply was a business decision. To express dissent to a state official and then to be retaliated against for that dissent is patently unlawful. If their actions were lawful, my case would have been thrown out. The day that we should have to worry about whether or not we can say what we think is a bad day for America. Uh, I can say what I think. It's my God-given right to say what I think. K2 asked Eek if, if he plans to display his middle finger to deputies after all of this. He says no, because as long as they promise to respect his rights, he has no reason to object. Now, K2 did try to contact the sheriff's office for comment on this case or the settlement. It didn't want to go on camera. However, the county simply says it would be cheaper to settle this case out of court than it would ultimately to be fighting it in court. Reporting live at the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office, Melanie Wingo, K2 News. All right, Melanie, appreciate the update. Oftentimes that happens in those settlements. Well, in our last half hour, we asked you to weigh in on this on our K2 Morning News Facebook page. Here's what some of you are saying. Sherry writes, this situation is ridiculous. However, they did violate his freedom of speech. I don't think it's worth $4,000. Well, Terry says it's a waste of $4,000 of taxpayer money. He has a right to his opinion, but police have to deal with the scum of the earth, and most of them deserve some common courtesy. We want to know what you think, so log on to our Facebook page and find us at K2 News this morning.